Hi, I'm Teacher Riz, and I will be your digital science teacher while you are at home. I hope you are as excited as I am to learn today. Oops! Oh no, I accidentally spilled water on the table. What do you think would I do to dry it? Yep, I used the rug to dry it and ta-da! It's fine now. Why do you think did I use that material? Very good! It's because rug absorbs water. Absorb means to take in liquids such as water. Hmm, that calls for a science experiment. Come on! Today, we will find out what materials absorb water. Why? How? In this experiment, we will be using materials which are available at home. Cotton, glass, tissue, plastic wrapper, paste towel, metal fork, sponge, an empty basin, and a basin of water. We will be dipping the materials in the basin of water, and we will press them later on the empty basin to see which one absorbed water. Please observe carefully. So from our experiment, we have observed that there are materials which absorb water, and there are also materials which did not absorb water. Why is this so? The materials which absorb water are called porous materials. Porous materials have small holes in them which allow air or liquid to pass through, while those which did not absorb water, we call them non-porous. Now, with the knowledge on porous and non-porous materials, we know which materials to use to dry ourselves after taking a bath, wipe the sweat away, and dry the floor. We also know which materials to use to protect ourselves from the rain and to hold drinks and food. Amazing, isn't it? See you again next time! Same place, same channel.